Change a question, change your life. When it comes to planning your life, I want to get you to learn to ask three questions now. And the first one is not, what am I going to do? And how many understand why now? Say I. I. The question you want to ask yourself is, what do I want? What's my outcome? What's my result? The word RPM, the first one is to get you focused on the target. The target is not the activity. The activity can change. It's what the, what's the result I'm after. If you know exactly what it is you really want, what you desire, what you're really after, clarity is power. The more clear you are and specifically what you want, the faster your brain can get you there. But if you're generally saying things like, what do I want? Well, you know, I want more money. Fine, here's a dollar, get out of here. <laughs> Did you achieve the outcome? Yeah, when you're that general, you, may be, you think you're not getting your goal, you are. The way you language your goal, the way you think about it, you're receiving it. You know, you know, I, you know, I want to feel a bit better. I want to lose some weight. Fine, you lost a pound, you're done. Because your brain's like a servo mechanism and a bomb and a missile. The old days, you shoot a missile and the target was going, and if you missed the trajectory, you missed it. Today, what happens when the, the missile's not on course? What happens? It locks onto the heat signature, and what does it do? It moves and follows it. That's the way your brain is if it knows the outcome, if it knows the result. So RPM starts with, I got to know the result. This is a results planning system. The rapid planning method, but you can think of it as a results planning system. I need to know the result I'm after before I ever ask myself what to do. That takes more time, but it's worth it. The system I'm calling the rapid planning method, by the time I show it to you, you're going to go, this takes more time than just making my to-do list. It will win. When will it take more time? When? Initially. But once you get it in your nervous system, it'll take you less time because your brain will be thinking in outcomes and not activities. And when you think in terms of outcomes and not activities, pretty soon some of the activities in your list you don't even need to do to get the outcome. You find a better way to get the outcome quicker. Now, how do you do that? You ask three questions. Question one, what is my result? What is my outcome? What is it I really, truly want from this? If you're going back next week and you say this next week, what are the most important what? Outcomes for me to get this week in my business. And you just write those outcomes out. Not your action items, the outcomes. You, if you do that and nothing else, you'll be ahead of the game. And if you just keep looking at those outcomes every day, how am I doing on that outcome? Your brain will come up with ways to get to that outcome. I promise you. Focus on outcomes, not on activities. Action for most people. Activities, most people may mistake movement for achievement. They mistake action items and to-dos for achievement. We're after the achievement. Are you with me on this? Yes or no? Yes. It's a different way of thinking, and I think all of you inherently have it, but if you make this ritualized, just like the things you've learned this week, they're all great, but if you don't systematize them, they'll work when you do them. But if you systematize them, right, and you see, like, Mr. Holloman here, where he goes in and just does it and does it and makes sure it's being done again, or what you've seen Chet do, or what I do, you just do it over and over again, you don't miss it. Now the results are geometric. So I want to get you to systematize the thinking, whether you do it visually the way I'm going to show you or not. So first question, what's the result I'm after? What's the ultimate result? What do I want out of this week, out of this thing, out of my business, out of my life, out for my body? And you want to be as what as possible when you describe that outcome, that result. As what? Clear. As clear and specific as possible. Generalities will confuse you. So it might take you longer than just writing down call so-and-so to think, if I'm calling my, my son, I'm going to call Jarek, or I'm going to call my brother. This is what goes through my head before I call him, always. What's my outcome? Because I don't want to just call him. I want Jarek to feel loved by his dad, or I'm thinking about what's my outcome. I've got to talk to him about this thing that's out there. I've got to make sure I get through to him on this, because I want to guide him and move him in this direction. That's what I want to be as his father. I, wanna, I don't want to just chit-chat. I can do that, too. So if you think before every phone call, before every time you're planning your day and you think before you have any meeting, what do you think the first thing I ask of anyone when we sit down in a meeting is? Okay, what are your, what are your outcomes? What, what are the outcomes for this meeting? First thing I want to know, because if I know the outcomes, guess what? A lot of meetings, they're done pretty quick. Because if I know the outcome, you don't have to go through all the activities to sell me on it. Just That's your outcome? How do you want to do it? Sounds good to me. Rock. That's how you make a meeting productive. I know a meeting's productive not by the hours or time. Sometimes it takes longer to the outcome than you want, but I'm going to get the outcome. That's, by the way, what you see with me on stage. That's why my times vary, but it's based on an outcome. I'm going to get that outcome. I don't give a damn whether it's the right time or not. 
I want to do it in that time, but I must deliver the outcome. How many get that? And by the way, how many like to have your company focused on outcomes, results, and not activities? Say I. I. People say all the time, well, did you get that done? Well, you know, I left them an email. I, I, I left them a voicemail. I've sent them three emails. How many times have you heard that? When that happens with me, I'm like, ah, you know, but I don't show it. I just like, really? <laughs> wow, that's fascinating. We'll explain our, about our culture. It's about getting the result. So I can help you if you can't figure another way to do it, but there may be 12 other things we might want to do. Maybe they don't have the answer. Maybe somebody else can give us the answer. The outcome was to get this information, not to leave an email or 12 or three voicemails. That will not do any of us any good. How many follow? Now, whether you get the outcome or not, whether you get that result, will be based first, do you have clarity? 